What's up, YouTube? I wanted to talk to you guys about what I think Blake and I both think is the best out-of-the-box AR-15 rifle on the market right now. And a lot of you guys have actually asked me about this rifle. And this is the Geisley Super Duty. Um, this is the rifle that I'll be shooting for the foreseeable future. I moved from the LWRC, uh, I think it's a DCI, is that right, Blake? I moved from yeah. that rifle to this Super Duty. Uh, the LWRC wasn't bad, but one thing I didn't like about it is it freaking was dirty, man. It was a dirty shooting gun. I mean, it got filthy real quick. I don't know why. Um, maybe tech guy can tell me about that later on. But what drew me to this gun initially was that it's freaking green. Uh, I've never had a green rifle before, and the finish on this thing, just the color is just freaking awesome. And that's what drew me to it, and obviously I've heard of Geisley, um, and knew they were put out pretty good stuff, so I went ahead and bought it, and called a little brother, and he said, oh yeah, I've got two of those rifles. And then I felt real good about myself, because if Blake buys something, it's gonna be the best. That's just the way he does. He researches everything for thousands of hours before he actually purchases it. You, usually before Blake actually decides to make a purchase, the companies came out with a whole new model because it takes him about a year to do his research. Um, so out of the box, the rifle's great. I have made some modifications because I'm gonna be competing at the tactical games with this particular rifle. So um, what I've done is, is I've changed the buttstock to a, uh, I think this is a Magpul PRS um, fixed buttstock. I have changed the grip just to give me a little straighter angle on that pistol grip. There's nothing wrong with the grip or the buttstock that comes on it though. Uh, and I've also changed the trigger. It comes out of the box with a really great trigger uh, for all practical purposes. I just wanted something that was a little lighter and a little more adjustable uh, for the competition or precision shooting that we do out at the tactical games. As far as how this rifle shoots, I've probably got, I don't know, I'd say somewhere between 500 and 800 rounds through it so far. Uh, zero malfunctions. Zero. Uh, it runs super clean. It doesn't get dirty like the LWRC did. I really love the handguard. Uh, another problem I was having with the LWRC is the bottom of the handguard was so close to the gas block on the barrel that anytime I tried to mount some sort of attachment on the bottom of the handguard, the screws to the attachment were pressing up and hitting the bottom of the gas block and actually throwing off my zero. Um, this is just a, a nice handguard, plenty of room to mount stuff. I really like the way this rifle shoots too in terms of just recoil management. They've got this um, flash hider up here, but it shoots really nice. It, it's not jumpy. Uh, you can stay on target well with it. It's got an ambidextrous safety. It's got this upgraded charging handle right here. Uh, just the fit and finish of it, I mean, straight out of the box is, I believe, the best you're going to get. They've got this big bolt lock, bolt release right here, uh, a couple QD sling attachment points right here. Everything is staked in properly. It's just a really, really nice rifle straight out of the box. What do you think, Blake? Yeah, I think it's I think it's the best gun that you can buy factory. Yeah, yeah. I think it balances uh, accuracy and precision but also reliability well. Yeah. Just as far as feeding and yeah. And I'm pretty sure that Geisley has the contract with um, Army Special Operations units. Uh, so it's been through the military testing and all that good stuff. Really, really satisfied and happy with this gun. All right, so wrap up on the Geisley Super Duty again. We're thinking this is the best out of the box right now. 
This is the gun I'll be shooting for the foreseeable future. Um, it's a good balance between real practical applications and also being able to use this for competitive shooting. We like everything about it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Not all AR-15s are made the same. So a lot of you guys think you can go out and spend freaking 600 bucks on a rifle and it's going to be just as good as something like this that's going to run you about 2,000 to 2,300 bucks. Uh, you're getting a lot of little details out of a rifle like this that are going to make a big difference when you really start dialing things in, all right? And when you really need the rifle to run. So that's our two cents on that. If you guys got anything out of this episode, get you a hat, get you a t-shirt. Join us on Patreon, man. We do a live call three Sundays a month over on Patreon with you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's called Resurrected. So check it out. We'll attach it in the show notes of this episode. Uh, thanks for continuing to watch the channel and support everything that we do. We love you guys. Enough said.